Uh, Rise of Prussia is a, is a strategy game based on the Seven Years' War in Europe. More or less is a story of Frederick the Great, the King of Prussia. And we are telling the story in this game about this big war which lasted seven years, uh, where Prussia was surrounded by enemies on all sides. And in the game you can play one of the sides and try to do as good or better than history. Uh, in the game, you're uh, supposed to be at the head of the state and at the head of a coalition. It's a two sides game. The one is playing Prussia and the allies, and the other side is playing Austria, France, uh, Russia, which are fighting Prussia. The, the game engine is a simultaneous uh, turn-based uh, system. That is, you play your turn, the opponent plays turns, and both turns are uh, solved together during a hosting phase, like kind of collision phase. And so it's, there's a lot of suspense in the game that the, um, you don't know what uh, the opponent has in store for you and then you, it unfolds in front of you when the game is re the turn is resolved and then you have a lot of nice surprises. In fact, the, the, the way of uh, dealing with the game, the engine itself, is very easy. It's a kind of easy drag and drop system. You take your, your different stack of troops and move, move them around on the map. So it's very easy and uh, not difficult to master. What is more difficult to master is, is the overall strategy and how you will coordinate your different troops and send them at the right place. Try to not to waste too much of your as initial assets because you have also to take care of supplies, of uh, replacement, uh, reinforcements. So the, the, the difficulty in the game is not in handling the game directly through the interface of the map, but more in terms of planning your strategy and in that point you may need a little bit of training. One of the interesting things, for example, is a uh, multiple choice events. We, we didn't have that before. That is now when you receive an historical event, you can change from history and choose different opportunities according to what you are actually doing in the game. Our plans, and our team is already working on that, is to offer, after the, let's say, the first six months of success on this game, new uh, scenarios, new expansion covering the Austrian succession war, the Polish succession war, everything that happened in this time frame, in this era. We, we have included in this game a huge amount of historical information. Uh, this goes from the different type of units that we're fighting in the different nations, and there are over 300 of them, to the different uh, historical characters. Every general uh, and main commander of the area has been searched and there are almost a thousand of them. And we have even a team which is working a lot on the every biography of each general so that we have a kind of living history book. You can learn things and have fun at the same time. And that's the message I would like to convey through my games. Once you start to love this game, go back to us and tell us what you would like more for the expansion, for new games, etc. Because our success and our pleasure is to get the feedback from the community and try to see, okay, what can we do better next time?